So, in this um, video, basically the technique is uh, get Pocahontas Randy to, uh, he, he attacks really fast, and he can summon extra people into your team. Use Sharon to heal everybody. Use Gar I use Garrison because he's got a good sweeping attack that can take out a lot of enemies and he does high damage. But a uh, key factor here is Santa. Um, the reason Santa is so important is because he allows all of your other teammates to basically double the output of their special abilities. So you get double heals, you can get double uh, summonings from Pocahontas, you can get Garrison to do a double slash. And uh, other than that, the shields are the big pain in the butt on this one. Um, well, of course, uh, you use uh, the arrow, whatever, rain or whatever it's called, at key points in the battle to uh, take down uh, mass enemies all charging you at the same time before you get to Cartman. Then, when, uh, basically, when you get to Cartman, you got to take down the shields. My best technique is just to use fireballs and lightning bolts basically just to take them down but as you can see in this video the the whole thing kind of goes uh it kind of just breaks at some point and Cartman just stops casting anything at me which you know that was nice for me but it doesn't really help in uh, explaining how to beat the <laughs> the level if he just stops working so um and then the, I have the uh problem where Every time I replay it and beat him, it gets harder and harder. So I'm probably not going to uh, redo this video anytime soon. But I think I have a pretty good technique. It's worth giving it a shot if you have those cards. I will say that I powered up my cards pretty well. Sharon, I think, is level 4. Santa, everything around level 4 would be pretty good. But that might take you a while to level up all your characters that high. Um... And you gotta keep in mind that this is the 60th match in the game, and I've been playing for like a couple months now. So yeah, it's gonna take you a while. I've seen somebody that could do it at level 10, but I mean, you know, uh, I didn't really like, I think it, it leaves a lot to chance, and uh, I think my technique is still, yeah, also a lot to chance, but... Anyway, this is the best thing I could come up with, and it worked for me two times, so have a good one. Alright, so in further review of the video, I noticed that uh, I don't seem to actually have any level 4 characters. Uh, Sharon is level 3, my uh, Garrison, uh, well my Santa is level 2, Garrison looks like he's level 3. So, yeah, that would, it shows that you don't really need level 4 uh, characters to beat the story mode. Um, but, like, you'll see in this run that uh, he's still casting stuff now, but you'll see that pretty soon he's just going to stop casting altogether. And uh, then he just gives me the opportunity to do whatever I want to beat him. So I'm not sure why this glitch happened, if it is a glitch. Um, and uh, just want to let everybody know that I don't hack. I'm against hacking games, especially competitive games. But there's also, you know, a positive side to hacking is uh, where pe people that actually hack to report problems within a game to the developers so that they can fix the game can actually improve a game. So there's positives and negatives to everything, but uh, I'm just really wouldn't personally uh, hack a game like this to just to beat other people and I think it that sort of thing kind of really ruins uh, the fun for everybody when that starts to like take over 
the wins and losses of the game entirely. Um, but, um, anyway. That was my roommate leaving the room. <laughs> Alright, now here it is. Here's where Cartman just stopped casting anything at all. And he just lets me just pretty much uh, run right over him. I have no idea why this happened, but um, and I don't think that it's something that uh, you can rely on happening to you for you to be able to win the game. But um, you'll see in this video that I did have a lot of... Uh, a lot of good things going on as far as uh, getting an advantage on the level as a whole. But um, I think why this video is good is because it gives you an idea of which characters would be useful to level up in the game in order to get this far and beat the last boss. Uh, because if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to waste a lot of effort and a lot of time, and possibly if you do spend money on the game, possibly a lot of money upgrading characters that you're not going to need to beat the game. So hopefully this will give anybody an idea of how to best approach that for them. And I'm sure there's other videos out there that can help with that. Um, probably somebody or multiple people have better strategies than I do on how to beat this last level.